It's more like a snow cone machine. Now I'm more on yes, board. Yes, can we move? I'm much more on board with living there if there's slushies. Can we ship with the boathouse from Ellis Harbor syrups. a bunch of syrups? Yes. yes. We're gonna yeah, we're going to need, need that. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. It's the morning scramble. Z102.9. On this 13th week of the year 2022, the first day of April, as we are broadcasting high atop 41.88 degrees north, Latitude at 91.72 degrees west longitude at an elevation of 840 feet. Welcome, everybody, to Nerd News. Woo! Good to be Woo! here, Eric. Good yeah. to be here, um, Before we dive into uh, this first story, uh, do we all still kind of believe Pluto's a planet? Can we just agree yes. on that? Yes, I will always. Okay, that's how we were raised. taught that, right? If I was born that way, I'm going to stay that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A new scientific study believes that <laughs> sometimes on again, off again, planet Pluto is covered with water. It's really? A, it's an ocean world. So you're saying it's a planet. Uh, more importantly, how did it become an ocean world? And In they believe there are two big volcanoes that spew ice. Wait. Yeah. What? They don't Ouch. spew molten lava. They spew ice. They bring how? up water. They believe there's an underground ocean in Pluto. Why and, are we living there? Well, it's pretty far Would away. You want to? Yes. <laughs> That's a lot of tread water. Ice water. That's a lot of swimming. <laughs> Just get a boathouse and you're good to go. Ice water. <laughs> Just take a boathouse from Ellis Harbor. Yeah. Put yep. it on a rocket. Uh -huh. Let's go. Go to Pluto. Yes. Uh, it is called a <laughs> cryovolcanic eruption. And it is 100% theoretical right now. We don't know if this thing exists. They can't prove it? They, well, it's too far away. But scientists believe, uh, even though there are no other examples in the solar system, theoretically it's possible if you can have a volcano that <laughs> molten lava, why yeah. can't you have one that <laughs> slushy ice so that's the working theory right now for pluto ice planet pluto with oceans both up and under all based on some photos they saw from 2015 when one of our satellites when went you by said pluto. ice at first an ice volcano i was like oh no it's shooting like shards of pointy jagged that's kind of what i was thinking but when you said slushy it's more like a snow cone machine now i'm more on yes board. can we move i'm much more on board with living there if there's slushies can we ship with the boathouse from ellis harbor syrups a bunch of syrups yes yes we're gonna yeah, we're gonna need, need that syrups. yeah fair enough yeah good Pl idea pluto snow cones coming soon to pluto. <laughs> <laughs> okay imagine being assigned a project at work knowing that it's going to take 20 years to work on it no would you do that no <laughs> no it's like a really long commitment that's what it took <laughs> Does it require me to be there every single day? Yeah, because you're <laughs> mapping the human genome. Oh, no. Yes. They're done. They, they, figured, what? they figured it out on Thursday. An international team of researchers released the first complete sequence of the human genome, which will increase our understanding of genetic variations, mutations that contribute to disease like cancer and helps find cures. Um, this, so there's no gaps. Because before they were kind of guessing what the sequence of the letters were. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 300 billion letters make up the human DNA, and it took them 20 years to get this thing done. So now do they get time off? I would have guessed that well, you could take vacation, yeah. Gary. Oh, yeah. go ahead. Good job. Good you job, Gary. Take a week. That's cool. Uh, we were 92% there in 2003. The 20 years were the last 8%. That's how long this project wow. took. No, I was going to say, I yeah. they were like close or in the midst. Because remember, was this was a project school. that they kind of open sourced it so anybody could go on and look at the data as long as you had the credentials. Yeah. We did it, everybody. Yes. Go on vacation. Yeah, high time. Every year, the Clean Ocean Action Coastal Environmental Group publishes a list of the unusual trash they have collected during the past year on the beaches of New Jersey. Ooh. 10,000 volunteers pick up over a half a million items along 270 miles of coastline twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. And I have this year's highlights. What'd we get? Mm, I'm going to guess. Okay. Take a guess. Well, shoes are probably common, right? Yeah. This Shoe. is this yeah. is more than what like you bizarre. would. bizarre. Yeah. A TV. TV remote? Just Ooh. the remote. Just TV remote? <laughs> Just the, not the TV. <laughs> darn it. You think it'd be the TV and Let's no remote. Because it's like, oh, I always lose it. You yeah. always lose it. Standing in the appliance it. section, a mini fridge. Oh, huh. well, I need that. Uh, going to the human body. No, 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 no. A scent of a set of dental braces? The, just the braces? Just the braces. I was thinking dentures or something. No. Dentures? De they also found yes. dentures. Okay. Don't tell me they found a thumb. A hunk of human hair. Right. And I don't know what classifies as a hunk, but more than just hair. Ew. That's but a like, lot. That could just be from somebody's drain, right? Um, maybe. <laughs> I hope. Probably. <laughs> Actually. Uh, a plastic monkey? What? Huh? <laughs> 
This is what? weird stuff they find on the beaches okay. of New Jersey. A bullet casing. Oh, that's scary. And my favorite, a fake eyeball. <gasps> Ew. So somebody's Somebody going around that? the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, they can't see now because they're, well, they couldn't see they before. Couldn't it's see fake. Before. <laughs> they're not well balanced. Good point. They're equally blind, but it, instead of looking like they've got two eyes, they only have one and then they've got a gap. Oh my. No. Fake eyeball on the beach of New Jersey. What do you do with it? You polish it up and put it for sale, I think, right? I don't know. For sale? Ew. Why not? I'd make some money off of a fake eyeball. <laughs> no. That's their news. The Morning Scramble. C102.9.